<clears throat> and let me describe the alleged bribery schemes at a little bit more length. <clears throat> the first, described in a detailed complaint, involves the alleged corruption of two commanding officers. Uh, they are Michael Harrington, the former executive officer of the Chief of Department's Office, which supervises all uniformed police uh, officers in the NYPD. And the other is Deputy Inspector James Grant, the former commanding officer of the 19th Precinct on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Over a period of years, these two police officers allegedly engaged in an egregious quid pro quo relationship with two private citizens, Jeremy Reichberg, a Brooklyn man who held himself out as a NYPD liaison, and a real estate businessman who was a friend of Reichberg, now cooperating with the government. <clears throat> as we allege, they spent well over $100,000 in bribe money to get what they wanted. Now, what did Reichberg and the cooperating witness get in return for their bribes? They got, in effect, a private police force for themselves and their friends. Effectively, they got cops on call. When they needed to get somewhere quick, <clears throat> they called on Grant and Harrington for a police escort, and they got it. Lights, sirens, and all. When they wanted to go to a parade or other important event in the city, they got VIP access, courtesy of Grant and Harrington. When Reichberg's jewelry business had problems with customers and com uh, competitors, he asked for and got help from Harrington to help settle those disputes. When they got, uh, when they or their friends got pulled over for traffic problems, they were able to get out of trouble, including a friend of Reichberg who, according to an officer at the precinct, was, quote, driving like a lunatic, close quote, into traffic and running red lights. As the complaint describes, and you should read this, it's at page 14 of the complaint, this friend appears to have gotten away with this dangerous driving without any consequence at all in real time as he was being stopped by an officer. And as we also allege, they even got help obtaining gun licenses from the NYPD, with Reitberg able to use Grant and his connections at the gun licensing division to get a full carry license within days, despite a process that normally takes months. As described, Reitberg and the cooperating witness showered officers Harrington and Grant with bribes in exchange for all these official actions. Now, I mentioned that one of the benefits Reitberg and the cooperating witness got was helping get gun licenses. That brings me to the second alleged criminal scheme, one that corrupted a function at the heart of what law enforcement does, and that is keeping our citizens safe. You can see at the chart to my, to my far right <clears throat> a depiction of some of the conduct alleged in that indictment. But let me go through it for a moment in some detail. <clears throat> David Villanueva, an NYPD sergeant and a supervisor in the licensing division, we allege, took bribes for years from Alex Lichtenstein, a so-called expediter, in exchange for pushing through gun license applications. Lichtenstein charged clients who wanted gun licenses upwards of $18,000, and he in turn gave Villanueva thousands of dollars. Villanueva himself gave some of that bribe money, we allege, to police officer Richard Ochital, who worked under Sergeant Villanueva in the licensing division. In addition to cash, Lichtenstein allegedly also gave Villanueva and Ochital bottles of liquor and limousine rides. And in exchange, Villanueva and Ochital allegedly pushed Lichtenstein's applications through without doing all the necessary checks or getting all the information they needed to properly approve gun license applications. And what was the result of this alleged corruption? Not surprisingly, gun licenses were issued to people who had no business having them. The over 100 Lichtenstein clients who ultimately got gun licenses allegedly included, and this is in the indictment, one person who had previously been arrested for bribing a public official and for assault, and another who had been arrested for forgery, had 10 moving violations, and three vehicle-related summonses, and had been the subject of at least four domestic violence complaints, including one in which he allegedly threatened to kill someone. Now, since our investigation began, the NYPD has taken steps to revoke the licenses for those who should not have gotten them. But during the allegedly corrupt scheme, the gun licensing process meant to safeguard the public was, of course, dangerously compromised. Lichtenstein, as you may know, was previously charged in a complaint and arrested on April 18th. Sergeant Villanueva <clears throat> is now charged in an indictment with Lichtenstein and was arrested this morning. 
<clears throat> Officer Okjetal has pled guilty to his crimes and is now cooperating with the government.